and welcome back to Piston Heads. My name is Troy Rawson and this is Kyle McClure 527 and tonight's challenge is one that I think a lot of you will be interested to know the answer to. I'm very much a muscle fan and Kyle is very much a JDM fan. So we had a bit of a debate between us and when I say debate more of an argument to which one was better and we decided to go out and buy our respective cars for a hundred grand and modify them and then do a series of challenges to find out which one is truly better. So I picked myself up a muscle car, Kyle went and got himself a JDM and we met up at the army base for our first challenge. Just waiting to hear the rumble. Oh, is an approaching Kyle. Oh. Oh, I like that. The white. Yes. Right, I'm just gonna uh... There we go. That thing looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I'm glad we filmed this part at night because, yeah. No, I really like that. It's really cool. It looks like a rally car and at the same time it looks like a drift car. And you've got a massive exhaust at the back. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, I like Wait, that design. This, watch, watch this Yes. Well, um, so you've brought out the this is a blister compact. Um, do you want to talk us through your modifications first? It's got everything on it. <laughs> not even lying. <laughs> the, this thing, this it, it's a creature. It's not a car. It's a creature. It's got. It's literally, for some reason, just everything on it is that low budget that I have managed to get full suspension, full transmission. No, actually, I didn't get full suspension. I, I don't. I think I just settled for street suspension, but I could have got full suspension if I wanted. It's got full transmission, full turbo, full engine. The only thing it doesn't have is armor. It's got. It. I don't think it has any bumper upgrades for it, but um, I don't think I would have put any on anyway. It's got some tuna wheels yeah, on. I think it looks good, yeah. It's, it's got some tuna looks wheels like on, is. which dam like which dented the uh, the cost by around sixteen thousand. But um, but like everything else, like say the spoiler and the exhaust, were only were below a thousand to get. I, I even got a some yeah. a rally cage in it. I I noticed the same with mine. Um, some of the upgrades are like. Uh, significant upgrades and they were below like 1000 I was like oh that's good but I like the little hood scoop the sun strip the roll cage yeah a nice little spoiler at the back exhaust I love the wheels they really suit it yeah, well, it, yeah when it, when I, it got I think... delivered I ordered it in white and it came in obviously the standard white you'd get but the bottom half was black and I, and although it does look nice black I just think going for a more a more grey yeah. look. It yeah, it's a bit more subtle um the grey than the black. Because I, I, I mean you've got this little black strip down the side anyway, exactly. so and I thought if I had black as well it would not only blend into the um the high beams, it would blend into the wheels, it'd blend into everything because it it's all it's just a small car, it's all together, isn't it? So But yeah, no I think you'll do well with this. Have it's a nice car, and then uh, then we move over to my car. I've gone, I've gone for a little bit of a different build with this. Um, I've brought out the Vigero. It is definitely an iconic muscle car in GTA Online. There was other options I could have taken with the hundred grand budget we had, um, but this is only twenty one grand. So it was really cheap, so I could put a ton of customization on it. Um, 
Yeah, I've gone for I've gone for some nice sort of race type exhausts. Got the uh, the quad exhaust there. We've obviously gone for the bug catcher on the front. The removed bonnet option wasn't actually an option, so I just <laughs> opened the bonnet and drove really fast. But I like it more without the bonnet, so I decided to go for that look. Uh, I've My not. <laughs> the uh, suspension I've not touched that so it is still on the stock suspension although it was like 4 grand to slam it and by slam it I mean move it down by about an inch so it was just really not worth it I've gone for full engine I've gone for a level 1 transmission and I've gone for a turbo I either had to go for full transmission and no turbo or a little bit of transmission and a turbo and so I thought having a turbo was probably better so yeah and then I ordered it in yellow and I've kept it in yellow because I like that and I've just gone with some tinted windows and some nice muscle wheels yeah I was going to say I like the wheels so that's, that's stock suspension that is stock suspension that's, that's cool. If you, yeah, it's, it does tip, well, it is very, like, um, it leans a lot in the corners, is what I want to say. Doesn't look like it would, but it does. It's controllable, but just barely. No, the lights have not touched them, the horn is still standard. Um, Nice. <laughs> um, yeah. I've not really done too much of it. I've kept it as simple as I could. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like it in yellow, and then I just went for the bug catcher. I wanted chrome. I wanted these wheels in chrome, but they costed 120 grand, and these were only seven grand. So, yeah, I thought I'd go for them. <laughs> But anyway, um, the reason we are here at the army base is one, because this hangar is a really cool location. Cheers. <laughs> this hangar is a really cool location to show off our cars, but also we've not used the, um, the army base runway for a drag strip yet, so Kyle's got a hangar here. So we don't get wanted, and we thought let's use the the runway as a drag strip. So let's go and get lined up, shall we? Okay, so we're actually lined up now. <laughs> I forgot to mention. Whoa! I, I forgot to mention my back wheels are floating. My my back wheels are not touching the ground on my screen. <laughs> okay, my car's magic. Um, <laughs> let's hope that magic is going to let me win this this drag race. I forgot to mention as well. I'm on stock brakes, so I'm going to have to brake a lot closer, a lot so further away from the end. Then, Kyle. You know the you know rules. I mean. Everyone should know the rules by now. <clears throat> when the grenade explodes, we go. Are you ready, Troy? I'm ready. Right, this grenade has been thrown. When it explodes, we go. Oh, it's a fairly even match. No, you're pulling. Look at that pull. Ooh. That's clear. And clear. breaking. Oof. That was not nice, that breaking. Well, um I think it's fair to say that's one point to the to the muscle car. You you started off 
very well then. Uh, I think, yeah. I think if I just set off normally. Let's give it a try. Right, so on the grenade yeah. explodes we go. I'm just gonna go try not to hit these little bobbles this time, because that nearly... Right, are, are we are we, are we we doing that or are we take... I think you're just going to catch up anyway. Oh. Oh, I don't know, it's fairly even now. I am gaining at the end, but not very much. Oh! Ooh. Yeah, he's won it. That oh. was wrong. I think if that was any other dragster, I would have been the winner. But I think it's an extra long. But you're the winner, but you're the winner. Overall. So that's that's one point to me then. Um, I won both of the drag races actually. Um, but we're going to move on to our second challenge now, which we've not actually done one of these before. So we'll find out how it goes. We're going to have a street race because these cars are both designed for sort of street racing, like Fast and Furious style street racing. We're going to have a go at it. We're going to do a point to point in the city and see which one of us gets the destination first, basically. So I'll see you over at the city. Do you want a bun? Or do you want like a uh, bit of bread? Because uh, I'm having chicken gel frazzy, right? So I was like, yeah, well, okay. like, put the food in a bit of bread and then just walk upstairs, take a bite into the bread and completely forget it's gel frazzy. Okay, guys, so we're... Um We've moved on now from the drag strip. Um, won that first point, just to remind you. Um, but now we've got a little bit of a, a different challenge. Kel, what are you doing? Oh, that's is that my um, is that my winning kick to the back yeah. of my car? Did I smash anything on your screen? On my screen, no. Good. I thought I heard some smash, and I was like, it didn't on my I screen. I heard some smash, but nothing has smash. <laughs> Sweet. Anyway, um, we're down here at the beach, as you can see, and our next challenge, we're going to be having a street race. We're going to be going through the centre of the city here, and we're going to be going up here to the observatory. Now we're going to be doing this in a CEO race, which if you've not seen one of those before, basically um, you can launch them from your CEO and it will be like a little impromptu race type thing. But along the way, we will have to rob a store. Now there's a couple of stores right near the beach. There's one here and there's also one here. We can take whatever route to the observatory that we like but somewhere along the way we have to rob a star. So basically it'll be the first one to get to one of these two stars, or this one over here, and then we have to get to the observatory. You don't have to lose your... I just backed out of the pause menu and saw you dancing. <laughs> it's with me when I win. Well, well, we'll see about that. You don't have to lose the cops. If you do, then well done to you. But you've just got to make it to the observatory. That is the safe house. So rob a star and make it to the observatory. Yeah, hey, Troy. The entering area 51. The leaving area 51. Oh, for God's sake. Not another one of those. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work with us getting out of the car. Right, so... But we'll just go for it. So, we need to rob a star. If one person takes the star before the other, the other has to continue on to a different star. Yeah. We do not have to follow the waypoint as long as we get to the destination. Right, <laughs> Kyle, are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready, yeah, the rice has been thing. Ne never eat while recording, people. All right, here we go. Starting the race.
Oh, that was a bad start from me there. Kyle's little car is razzing away. JDM was fuck, boy. JDM is taking the lead right here. Oh, no. That's not ended well. Doors have disappeared off the minimap, so I don't know if it'll let you actually rob them. But if we walk in and stand in the store for about five seconds. Yeah, we'll, we'll class that. Okay, I'm about to rob a star. It's somewhere here. I know yeah, there's a star. It said it was recently somewhere robbed, which here. it wasn't. But I'm just going to run around for a couple it's seconds. right here. There it is. As you guys can see, I'm running around this shelf here for a couple seconds. Oh! Oh, I think it's closed. This loop, I'm gonna run back out. Right, I'm just going to do a loop around the garage like Kyle did. This class is as robbing the star, basically. I'm going to do two laps around. Right. Get back in the car. We don't have cops now, but yeah, never mind. We're going. Go, 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 go. Forgot to mention minimap Eating. is on for this challenge because um, finding our way through the city, although we know the map, it just is easier to follow a waypoint or get similarly towards the waypoint. Because if we're going to a store, it'll put us off track where we actually need to go. Whereabouts are you at at the moment? We're about to meet at this cross section, right? Oh no, never mind, you turned. I am using my knowledge of the city to get me there a little bit faster. I think I'm lost. Nope, I'm not lost. You got your minimap on? Oh. I've got my minimap oh. on. But I'm just taking a faster route. Oh. A bit of a flip there. Oh, we're about to meet Kyle. Oh, and try this I'm like, in the oh, I crashed into a tree. No, 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 no. He has crashed. This looks like it may be a victory for me. We don't know. Come on, come on, come on. Unless your muscle car is gonna. Obviously, muscle cars are better known for going on different terrains, so it'll kill him maybe a bit better. He is catching me up. I do see this. So. Oh, I see your tail lights. If I hadn't smacked that wall, I would be catching you now. Don't jinx it, mate. I almost got spun out. This thing is not good uphill. You can hear it struggling. So we're gonna go a bit of off-road. I'm off -road catching you, boy. I'm to... catching you. On the grass, oh, well, there. I've yeah. just completely bollocked it. I've crashed into a sign. So we're on the road now, going up to the observatory. We're gonna do a bit of a drift around this corner to give try a bit of a fighting oh, chance. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That, oh, that has... No. I, th I think this is the victory secured here. For Team JDM. Go, go, go! Come on, car! Oh, well, I've just completely bollocked it now. Come on, car, you can do this. this! You can do this! Well, I think that's and an achievement this car getting is, up there. Is a JDM as a fuck. Oh. I've just spun out. Pretty close race, though. <laughs> that horn to finish. Well, fair plays. Your driving and your car what won that challenge. Like, <laughs> if we, if you were to go back and have a look at that footage of when I wrapped it, I was literally, you know, when there's the massive up, like inclines on the hill going up towards uh, final hills. Hmm. Um, yeah, I actually got air going up one, hit a uh, a barrier, and just flipped it on its roof, and had to manually unflip it. <laughs> so, so that that was that was the time where you caught up. That was a sick drift right there. Yeah, I was catching you up the hills, but yeah, unfortunately, I reckon it would have been a lot closer had I not hit a sign at the end. But anyway, yeah. um, it is currently one one. So we're going to move on to our second challenge now. Third challenge. Third challenge. I knew it was 1-1. <laughs> one, one. Yeah, I said second chance. We're going to move on to our third challenge now, which we're going to be doing a timed lap around the Piston Heads test track. The fastest time will win, obviously. And because we're in different categories, we're going to have to do this race twice. So, yeah, so yeah. I'll explain the rules when we get to so guys, here we go. 
I'm gonna go, and we are literally just gonna full send it to the finish line. JDM as fuck. Dude, I almost had you. 10 out of 10. Let's go. So, I bet you were expecting that. <laughs> need to reverse. So coming up to these corners, these corners are actually pretty easy considering this is a, uh, a car meant for kind of street racing. Both our cars are to be fair and um, I took that as a drift and that is a very slow start considering the uh, it's front wheel drive so although the <coughs> the car is decent at drifting it's not got that uh, sort of enough power to keep itself going if we come to a full stop. So that does delay us by a couple seconds on each go. But coming up to these left hand turn, I, I, I don't know the technical term of chicane and stuff like that, so so I'm just going to say left hand and right hand turns. So I'm going to turn right here, keep going, we're going to flip a bit of a Yui here. And then once we've got this Yui down, we're going to hit this other checkpoint and we're going to keep going. We've almost finished. So I recommend, not I recommend, I, uh, I think my time will be about 1.30 maybe maybe no I'd probably well, about 1.30 and here he comes ladies and gentlemen big slide into the Easy. it's done a thing with me it's yeah, giving fine. me a you countdown yeah you can move it's fine I'm going! I just made it across <laughs> the line. <laughs> so, my time was 1 minute 28 seconds and 57 milliseconds, I guess. I said 570, but I guess that's 57. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, yeah. a very fast oh, lap time, actually. A, a 130 is a very good lap time, so 128 yeah. is good. Mm -hmm. oh, very nice, we will record that lap time there, and now it's time for my lap. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I'm starting a bit ahead of you, like further ahead. Okay. You're gonna need to <laughs> Come on, get the power down, Vigero. You are a machine. Oh, I've also got my bonnet on. That's for aerodynamics. That was not a fun corner. Took that a bit fast. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. I just see Kyle doing donuts in the middle of the track. I am driving this thing. I mean, it is a car. <laughs> oh, come on. When your, when your friend doesn't understand what a car is. <laughs> oh, I'm driving this thing. Go, 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 go. Hit the NOS. Here we go. Coming into the final turn now. Don't spin out. Oh, I almost spun out. Oh, that is... Oof. Oh, he has done it. He's won by <gasps> roughly, I'd say, five seconds. Maybe four and a half seconds. I don't know, I couldn't see the time in the bottom. I turned my hood off so there was no time. Is that what it was? Yeah, that was your time. Mine was 128, so obviously that means Troy to the challenge. I'll be talking to Smash being I was absolutely hammering that thing around the track. Oof! 123.58.
So the score goes 2-1 to Heroi. And we'll meet you in... Wait, is there another challenge? We've got two more challenges to go. Well, you heard it there. So, next one could be the decider. But it also could be the one that levels the competition. Right, so, everyone, keep in mind that I that Troy arrived way before me. But because I am obviously in a JDM car, a Japanese car, I'm just going to go... Oh, dude, I almost had you. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. <laughs> well, um, you can probably guess... <laughs> no, no, sorry, before you start, can I just point out how uh, ridiculous that looks? A guy, a guy gets out of his car that's like smashed to bits, wearing a ballistic vest, holding a futuristic minigun. As he gets out of his car, his car morphs into thin air, and then his car just appears like 20 yards away from him, like 5 minutes away. That is GTA. Places. Hell yeah. So, we're here at the prison now. You can probably guess what we're going to do. We did this in the van challenge, and we both enjoyed that challenge, getting away from the cops. It's slightly different this time. As you will see, there is no helicopter this time. And that's because we're both going to be getting away at the same time. So, we're both going to either drive in or reverse into the prison at the same time. And then it will be whoever can get rid of the cops first, basically. Um, so... I like your makeshift splitter you've got there, Troy. <laughs> I forgot to take a picture of you with your splitter. Hello. Oh, thank you. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> can you see it too? Yeah, I can see it too. <laughs> it's morphed through your wheel. <laughs> it's good enough. It works. <laughs> Your wheels It'll literally you float. Oh, you've got three wheels touching the ground, and your fourth is just like, nah, I'm gonna chill up here with the bonnet. Well, I noticed earlier when we were doing the drag race that my back wheels are floating. My car is just, yeah. Anyway, um, you need to turn your radar off so you can't see the cops, but you need to turn your hood on so you can see how many stars you've got. And then as soon as you get rid of those stars, you've won. Well, yep. if I so already losing. The difference between this challenge and the van challenge, I can't even remember if I mentioned this, I'm pretty sure didn't, is that although we both got we, we both got wanted but at separate times, this time we're both gonna get wanted at the same time. I don't know if we did cover that. I did cover that, but yeah, just going over it again. So um should we line up then? I'm gonna go forwards in actually. I'm gonna do a nice J turn out. Mine's, mine's a real wheel, yeah, a rear wheel drive, so it'd be better backing out. Okay. Right, let's. So I'm, I'm just gonna slowly go in. As soon as you get one hit, that's when we go. So the challenge is a go. There we go! Go, 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 go! This is gonna be a slick J turn. There we go. Oh, Kyle's gone. I don't know where he's gone. Okay, we can't see the cops, so we won't be able to tell what's coming towards us. Um, oh, I've got, see I've got the helicopter got. on my ass. We both have bulletproof tyres this time, which is nice, so I we hope. shouldn't have our tyres shot out. I hope I've got right, I'm going for Kyle's tactic in the van challenge. I I'm going successful. off the road apparently because I just got rammed off the road by a swap car. I just crashed into a house. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> How do you miss a house? <laughs> oh, it was a small house. I'm now on the train the track. Oh, my, my tires weren't bought through. Oh, sucks to be you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, th you have definitely won this. I've got no back tires. Oh, I would tires. not be sure about that. I've got no back tires, and I've got two helicopters tracking me here. Right, okay. Please I think don't your helicopter come. came for me as well. Turn the lights off. Oh, fuck off. There's a proper JDM machine. There's a muscle machine. The, 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 the annoying thing that's different between mine and yours is that your car actually has the power to escape the force. <laughs> I'm about to lose them. Come on. Come on, you can do this muscle car. Just don't get spotted in my bright yellow muscle car. There's no way I'm ever getting away from these guys. I've completely forgotten where the train track is. And How I long does it take to get rid of stars? Yes! There we go. I've still got them tracking me here. I've just I've... as the cop car pulled out in front of me, I lost them. So I'm, I'm just going to go here. Hello, Okay, Guys, so you can see that I have lost. But I am just going to call off my cops now. Let's try has one, and Troy, you want Oof. to see how decked out my car is right now. I'm going to turn my display I really back do. On. What's its max speed? Mate, it's struggling to get to 50 here. <laughs> Where are oh, you we're at? going to 60. Oh, you're over there, okay. I'll I'm meet you at the there. customs. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even notice that was you, because I had my map turned off. I just thought, who's that flying the other way? Oh my days. <laughs> I got hammered by the police. I think all the cops that were going to you went to me. Look how nice my car is. I've lost a tail light and a headlight and that's about it. All my windows are still... Oh no, my drivers and passenger side windows are smashed, but my... Well, that concludes today's challenge. Um, it was 3-1 to me in the end. So if you want to know which is better, muscle versus JDM, always go for that muscle car because it's won three of those challenges. Although I do like the look of Kyle's car. It is very nice. I don't know about the no headlight hat. The only lights that are on there is probably the interior lights and the neons. But I can quickly well, we'll change that to uh... car. Oh, well, there we go. Now they're a bit more even. Yours has got more light going on now with the with the uh, neons, actually. Hell yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this challenge. And let's head back to the studio. Nice. <laughs> so guys, you saw the results of these tests that we just did. Obviously, in our case, Muscle was superior to JDM. I still prefer JDM over Muscle. That's just my opinion though. I told you JDM was going to lose to my Muscle car. Muscle car wins every time, boy. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys have enjoyed the video, remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell icon next to the subscription button to make sure you don't miss out on any of Model One's channel updates or uploads. That's the word I was looking for. I have been Camel Crow 527 and I have featured on Module and Gaming's channel and peace out guys, have a good night. Yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to see a season two, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out Kyle's channel, then I'll leave that link in the description below. But thank you for watching and we will see you next time. to your second um have you got a minute yeah yeah, yeah.
Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sort of not going to because I paid enough to do a season two, so uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see myself to the door. Uh, season one was good. Just, yeah, yeah, bye. Oh yeah, so welcome to the bonus clip of Disney Heads. It's actually episode six. Oh, what is the danger sign? Dodge demon fears no man. Oh shit, it's actually kind of too. Wow, you even despawned. <laughs> 